Hallelujah. The glory is here. God is here. He is the glory. The glory is God. When we speak about the glory, we're not speaking about just some kind of a mystical force that's floating through the air every once in a while ready to give you goosebumps or tingles or electrical sensations or gold manifestations. But when we speak about the glory, we're speaking about God himself, his character, his nature, his majesty, the essence of his manifest presence, who he is. He is the glory. The Bible speaks about Father God and calls him the Father of glory. The scriptures speak about the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Call him the King of glory. The Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of glory. And so tonight, just lift up your hands all over this place. As we welcome the glory, we welcome. <laughs> oh, the fullness. The fullness, God. We invite the fullness of your glory, who you are and all that you have, God. We desire to enter into new realms of your glory. Lord, we invite you to manifest in new forms and dimensions of your glory. God, we thank you for releasing signs and wonders and miracles of your glory. Divine wisdom, revelation, and knowledge of your glory being imparted to each and every heart that's hungry tonight in this place. Lord, we thank you that you are here in your glory. We welcome your move. We welcome what you desire to do in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let the glory come and settle on me. Come on, say it. Let it be. Let it be. Let the glory come right now and just settle on me. Settle in me. Settle upon me. Settle within me. Lord, God, I'm open. I'm open to your glory. To your glory. To your glory. God, I welcome your glory. Your gl <laughs> God, your greater glory. God, we welcome your glory. 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 God, we welcome you in all of your glory. Your glory. <laughs> you might say, well, how do I welcome the glory? Just open up a little bit more. Just open up a little bit more. Just open up. Come on, just open up. Open up. Just yield. Just surrender. Get more hungry. Get more thirsty. For the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, the glory is here, the glory. The glory in St. Louis is here. <laughs> Whoo. The glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. Just drink, just drink, drink. Yeah, there's a river that's flowing in St. Louis. There's a river of glory that flows from the heavenly realm into the earthly realm. 
There is a river of God that's beginning to flow even right now uh, from the realms of glory uh, into the realms of your heart. Uh, There's a river that's flowing, oh yes, uh, from the open portal of the open heavens uh, into the open portal of St. Louis. Oh, in through the gateway, in through the gateway, uh, the glory comes, the glory comes, the glory comes. Oh, let the glory come. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Ha 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 ho ho ho. He 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 ha ha ho ho. Hallelujah, King of Glory. We welcome you in this place. We do. We welcome you in this place. I want you to stand up in this place. And I want you to say, I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room for the glory. <laughs> I'm making room for the glory. For the glory of the Lord, I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room for the glory, for the glory of the Lord. Come on, lift your voice and say, I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room. For the glory, I'm making room. For the glory, for the glory of the Lord. Ha 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 ha. Ha I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room. Come on, decree it. For the glory, I'm making room. For the glory, for the glory of the Lord, I'm making room.
Or lift up your hands to heaven all over this place. We're making room, oh God, for your glory, God. We desire more and more of you, Jesus. Come and fill us afresh. Come and fill us afresh, oh Lord. Oh, let your glory move on into the places of our heart as we're open unto you. Let your glory move on into the places of our soul as we're open unto you. Let your glory move on in to even places of our physical body as we're open unto you. Tonight in this place, we welcome you, God. We welcome you as our Savior. We welcome you as our Deliverer. And we welcome you as our miracle worker, God. We welcome you in your glory. King of glory, come on in. King of glory, come on in. King of glory, come on in and do what you desire to do. We give you permission tonight, oh Lord. We give you permission tonight, oh God. God, we give you permission right here in St. Louis to move in your power and move in your glory and move in your authority and move in your victory. Oh, come move and do what only you can do, oh God. We give you permission tonight in this place. King of glory, King of glory, King of glory, come on in. King of glory, King of glory, King of glory, come on in. King of glory, King of glory, King of glory, come on in. Ha. You might say, well, I'm about as open as they come. I'm as open as I could possibly be. And I believe tonight the Lord's saying, just open up a little bit more. Just open up. (laughs) Just just open up a little bit more. A little bit more. And once you've opened up that little bit, then open up even a little bit more. And (laughs) And once you've opened that little bit then open up even a little bit more you see there's always more to open when it comes to the glory of the Lord we have not seen all that God desires to show we've not heard everything that God desires to reveal by his voice we've not known everything that God desires for us to perceive or to receive from his Holy Spirit and so we must open to the glory in greater and greater ways for there is a A greater glory that's coming in these days. There is a greater glory that's being poured out even right now in St. Louis. There's a greater glory that's being poured out even right now in Missouri. There's a greater glory that's being poured out over the Midwest. There's a greater glory that's being poured out over America. And we must be those that are willing to receive. Those that are receptive to draw on the realms of heaven that are being given. Given unto us for that which God is doing in this day is something new and that which God is doing in this day is something fresh we cannot say oh I've been there before and I've seen that before for what God desires to release by his spirit is something you've not seen and something you've not heard and something you've not known before oh for there's greater and greater in the realms of the Lord there's greater and greater in the realms of heaven and surely the river is beginning to flow in a greater dimension than ever before the river is widening even in St. Louis the river is calling those into the the enjoy the fullness from the banks of the river those that have stood along the edge wondering could this be God is this God surely God is saying come on in 
jump on in. Begin to swim in the river of my pleasure. Begin to enjoy the depths of my flow. Enter into the river of revelation. And even as you do, you shall begin to know things that you've not known before. And I shall begin to move you by divine revelation for the steps ahead in the days ahead are those that will be steps made from the heavenly dimension. Oh, have I not said I shall order your footsteps and I shall begin to direct your path for surely I am moving my people in this day and in this season. I am directing my army, my company of believers. Oh yes, I am directing the people of glory in this day into things. Oh yes, that I have prepared the promises that you received in the times of intercession and the visions that you've seen in the middle of the night. Surely you shall begin to walk into the manifestation of those things that you've been believing for. Those things that I planted the seed in your heart. Oh, the days ahead are days of great fruitfulness and the days ahead are days of harvest glory. Oh, so enter in and let me bring you into those things that I have prepared for you says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 For there shall be a shaking and a quaking in the earth and you shall feel it even under your feet. But know this, that as I begin to move, even in the natural, there shall be a shifting that comes in the realm of the divine supernatural. I am bringing forth my purposes. In this day you shall feel them. You shall move into them and you shall experience my glory in greater measure, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Rabayama Seleme Solamakaya. Even right now, I see that shaking begin to take place in the realm of the spirit. And I see addictions coming off of you. I see bondages being broken in the realm of the spirit. I see God beginning to loose you from those things that have held you for a long time. Oh, the Lord says it is past time for your breakthrough. It is past time for you to receive that victory that was paid for on the cross of death. Calvary. Some of you, your spirit is leaping right now because you're connecting with what the Lord is speaking. If you need a breakthrough in this measure, I want you to get out of your seat, run to the front right now because God is breaking bondages off of you. You are being loose to the addictions. You are being set free from the ungodly things that have tried to hold you, tried to tie you down, tried to keep you captive. That stuff is being broken tonight. Broken, 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 broken. I want everybody that's come to the front to lift up your hands because you're being set free right now. You're being set free right now. Your faith connecting to the very word of God. What God is saying he's doing in this very moment. It's a personal thing. It's a deep thing. It's an emotional thing. It's a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. But as you lift up your hands, you're lifting your hands into freedom. You're lifting your hands into liberty. Don't see yourself the way that you've seen yourself. Begin to see yourself tonight through the eyes of glory. Through the eyes of glory. When God looks at you, he sees you through the blood of Jesus. When God looks at you, he sees you through the finished work of the cross. When God looks at you, he sees you as one that is set free. He sees you as those that are delivered. He sees you as those that have been paid for with a great price. And I want you to lift up your hands right now and I want you to see the blood of Jesus coming down on you right now. See the sign of the blood being poured out for you from the heavenly realm into the earthly realm right now. The blood covers you. You're being covered by the blood right now. Covered by the blood. Covered by the blood. Covered by the blood. Those ungodly strongholds must let go of you when the blood begins to take hold of you right now. Ooh. 
Don't think about how long it's been. Don't think about the struggle. Don't focus on the past, but begin to look and see the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory that has redeemed you, the glory that has bought you, the glory that has paid for you, the glory that sets you free right now. Lift up your hands right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are doing a supernatural work in this place. By the power of your Holy Spirit. I just felt the cloud of glory just beginning to descend in this place. You're going to begin to feel the weight of glory even on your hands as they're lifted up right now. Under the heavenly, you're going to begin to feel the weight of the kavod, the weighty glory of God. There is a supernatural exchange that's taking place right now in the spiritual realm. The heavy weight, the weightiness of the world is being lifted up off of your shoulder. The weight of addiction, the weight of struggle, the weight of temptation is being lifted off of you right now in Jesus' mighty name. That you might experience and feel the very weight of his glory, the weight of his presence, his joy, his peace, his freedom, his liberty. That's coming on you right now. Right now it's being given to you as a gift. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Lord, I thank you that shackles are broken. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. You're receiving Your deliverance in the glory right now. It's not coming through struggle, but it's coming with ease right now. Right now. All you've got to do is just receive. Say, I'm free. I'm free. Something's changed. In the glory. Things are being transformed. (laughs) I'm not the person I was before I came up here tonight. But in the glory, something's beginning to change right now. In the glory, something's beginning to change right now. In the glory, something's beginning to change right now. You see, when when Jesus touched the water, it turned into wine. Whatever the glory touches begins to change when the glory touched the fishes and the loaves they begin to multiply whatever the glory touches begins to change so once again just reach out to the glory that's God the fullness of heaven's promise ability potential who just touch the glory And let that transformational change come on you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. There it is. There it is. There it is. Just take it. Receive it. There it is. (laughs) There it is. Whoa. The weight. The weight. The weight of glory right there. There it is right there. Let it come. 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 You're getting your deliverance. (laughs) You're getting your full deliverance. It's not just a little bit tonight. It's not just partial partial tonight. It's the whole meal deal. The whole thing. All together. in G- Right now. Whoa. There it is. There it is. There it is. The weight. The weight. The weight. The weight. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Just surrender. Just yield. Just yield. Just yield. Just yield. Just yield. Just yield. Whom the sun sets free is free Indeed, right now. Just take it. Just take it right there. Just take it right there. The cloud of glory coming upon you. The cloud of glory encapsulating you. (laughs) Never the same. 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 Glory of God. Glory of God. Glory of God. Glory of God. Setting the captives free. Setting the captives free right now. Never the same. 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 Just take it. Take it. Take it. The glory. The glory. The glory. The glory. Whoo. It's like you're being put into a glory bubble. 
a little glory bubble of ministry. Yeah. The Lord ministering to you very, very personally right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Right there, you're receiving it from the hand of the Lord. The glory coming upon you right there. Just receive. Just yield. Just surrender. Hmm. Say, I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room for the glory. <laughs> See, all those places that held you, all those things that tried to bind you, all that stuff that tried to depress you and oppress you, you're making room now in those places for the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. Isaiah said it like this. He said, I see the, I, uh, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up and the train of his robe filled the temple with glory. Isaiah said it. He saw it. So I want you to see the same thing. I want you to see the glory of the Lord beginning to fill his temple. And the Bible tells us this, that you and I, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. When the glory begins to fill your temple, anything that's not glorious must exit the temple. <laughs> when the glory fills the temple, anything that has no glory has to leave the temple. So you lift up your hands and say, let the glory fill my temple. I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room for the glory. I'm making room for the glory. <laughs> For the glory of the Lord. Now see the glory filling your temple right now. The glory fills the temple. The glory fills the temple right now. The glory fills your temple. Every part right now. The glory filling the temple right now in Jesus' mighty name. Whoo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Huh. I heard the Spirit just say, that drug addiction's being broken. And I know we have a certain way that we think about drug addiction. And even a certain way that we look at drugs. But when I just heard the Spirit just impress that upon me, I felt like the Lord was even saying, there's been an addiction of prescription drugs that's been binding and holding the people of God. And you're being set free from every ungodly addiction, every drug addiction. You're being set free from that thing that has tried to bind you and tried to limit you. The deliverance comes now in Jesus' mighty name. Now, 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 now in Jesus' mighty name. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Oh, there's folks that are. Here tonight, you're being set free from a spirit of alcoholism. You've had a drinking problem. And uh, listen, you're going to start drinking another kind of drink. And it's going to more than satisfy every craving that you... <laughs> every craving that you've had. Oh, lift up your hands right now. There's new wine flowing in. There's new wine flowing in. When you start to drink the new wine, you don't want the old wine. There's no more craving for alcohol when you get addicted to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Woo. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the craving. Of the flavors of glory. Lord, thank you for the strong cravings of the flavors of glory. Lord, I thank you. <laughs> Lord, I thank you that the, the stuff that the world offers no longer can satisfy. Lord, we 
begin to drink more and more of you. 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 Yeah, the holy drunkenness is coming. You're getting drunk in a whole new way. Hallelujah. Oh, you're being set free today. Being set free today. Getting set free today in every kind of way. Lord, I thank you for it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whew. Some of you have had a real addiction to nicotine, cigarette, vaping, marijuana. And the Lord's answering the cry of your heart saying, God, I don't want that stuff anymore. And he's sending the cloud of his glory, the smoke of his presence to fill you with the true and the genuine substance of that which you have been craving. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for filling your people with the cloud, with the smoke of heaven, with the cloud of your glory. In Jesus' mighty name. New cravings of glory. New desire, new addictions of glory. Holy and heavenly addictions. Whew. Gambling spirits are leaving right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you for it. Pornography and sex addiction spirits are leaving right now in Jesus' mighty name. You're being loosed of that stronghold. You're being loosed of that thing that has tried to hold you. The love of God beginning to fill your heart. The love of God beginning to overflow in every kind of way through your life. Where there is great love, there is great miracles. 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 There are miracles that are beginning to take place all over this place right now. In the realm of God, in the realm of his glory, miracles are being loosed. I see it starting right at the very top of your head. There are some that are in this place that you've been dealing with intense headaches, severe migraines. There, there, there's even uh, situations where uh, your mind ha has been so consumed by pain that you can't think straight, you can't think right. But tonight, there's a breakthrough that's being given to you in the realm of the miraculous. I want you to stand up and just step into your healing tonight. I see a ringing in the ear begin to disappear right now in Jesus' mind. It's going right now. In, and there's healing that's coming in through the ears right now where there's been hearing loss. That thing is being reversed in the glory. And there's going to be hearing increase. There's going to be an increase of hearing ability. Lord, I thank you for it right now. The oil of God's presence is flowing down. I see it on your neck right there where there's been difficulty moving your neck. I want you to stand up, begin to move your neck. The oil of God's presence is upon you right now, bringing freedom in the area of your neck. I see it running down your back, all the way down your spine, your upper back, your lower back. Being healed all the way up and down like a light beginning to shine from the top of your head all the way down your spine, right down to your tailbone. I see a tailbone being supernaturally healed. You got to stand up and begin moving in the glory. Just let the glory come on you. Just open up a little bit more for the glory. I see God's glory opening up eyes. I see eye floaters beginning to go. I see spots in the eyes beginning to disappear. Cataracts. Go in Jesus' mighty name. Eyes be made whole. I see a healing in the macula. I see the retina being healed in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for doing it 
not by natural might and not by natural power, but by your spirit of glory releasing miracles in Jesus' mighty name. I see nasal passages being opened right now, and I see allergies being healed where there's been allergy problems and nasal problems and sinus difficulty. You're receiving the complete and total healing manifestation even tonight in the realms of God's glory is being loosed upon you whoever has that TMJ you need to put your your hands right here on your jawbone and let the glory just flow in right there who and there's mir dental miracles they're taking place tonight where there's been pain in your mouth some of you have been told you need certain operations and certain things. And I'm not a doctor to tell you what you need or what you don't need. But what I can tell you is that the glory is moving tonight in your mouth. And God is doing a work even in your teeth tonight. Receive that miracle. There's oil flowing down into the voice box, into the vocal cords right there. Where the enemy has tried to steal your praise. The enemy has tried to take your sound. The enemy has tried to wreak havoc on the weapon of warfare, the spiritual weapon that defeats him every single time, your praise and your worship. There's a miracle taking place in your vocal cords right now. In your throat right now, there's a major miracle. You need to open up your mouth and just begin to let out your voice. Let out your praise. Let out your sound. And let the miracle come forth. 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 Come on, just begin to pray in the spirit right now. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Just lift up your spiritual tongue. Just begin to pray in the spirit right now. All over this room, just begin to pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You're building a cloud. You're building a realm. I see healing glory coming upon shoulders right now. Rotator cuffs being healed in the name of Jesus right now. Wholeness coming where there's been disability, where there's been inability. Right, perfect movement comes right now. Just begin to move your shoulder in the realms of glory. The glory is coming on you right now, touching those shoulders in Jesus' mighty name. Flowing down, there's glory in the elbows it's even in the wrists right there where there's been carpal tunnel syndrome right now 
every syndrome of carpal tunnel goes, every symptom goes in Jesus' mighty name. I command perfect healing to your wrist, perfect healing to your elbow, perfect healing to your shoulder, perfect healing to every joint. There it is, the joints. Whoa, the joints. Spirit of arthritis, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for healing miracles that are coming right now into every joint. Right now, just begin to move your fingers. Just begin to move your toes. Begin to move your elbows. Begin to move your knees right there. Whoo, miracles, 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 miracles. Miracles. And I'm even seeing the skin of somebody's arm, and I see where there's been scars. There's scarring on the arm. And what I'm sensing from the Holy Spirit is that verse where Job said that his skin was returned to the skin of like a a little baby, a newborn baby. I see God taking you back to take you forward. I see brand new skin being given to your arms. Ooh. Yeah, he's a Lord over eczema. He's a Lord over every kind of rosacea, every kind of skin rash, every kind of damage to the skin cells right now. He's the Lord over it all. And your skin is being renewed like that of a young baby. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for doing recreative miracles in the area of skin. And I see it flowing even through the blood cells right now, that creative miracle power of God flowing through your blood cells where the enemies tried to mess with your blood. And the enemies tried to change your blood. And the enemies tried to disable your blood. I, the, oh, the Bible says that life is in the blood. Life is in the blood. And I prophesy it over you tonight uh, that your blood is being changed uh, and that life is in uh, the blood. And there is a supernatural blood transfusion uh, that's taking place uh, from the glory realm into the natural realm, uh, from the heavenly realm uh, into the earthly realm uh, in your body right now. Just receive it, receive it, receive it. Just receive it, receive it. Lungs being filled with the breath of God. Breathe in deep right now and receive your miracle in your lungs. Every damage. The scar tissue in the lungs is leaving right there. It's leaving. It's leaving. It's leaving right there. You're going to breathe with ease. You're going to breathe deep. You're going to breathe with perfect peace. Just do it. Just breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Divine alignment in your lungs right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And I see even within your stomach, your intestines, there's a pancreas, your kidneys, liver. I command healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Healing miracles of God. Take him all through the, right there, all through the digestive system right there. Mm. From your esophagus all the way down to your bowels right there. The healing miracle power of God. Begins to flow with ease right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that you are doing in this place a recreative miracle. You are doing what the doctors have proclaimed is impossible. What the doctors have said could never take place in time. Lord, I thank you that you are invading time tonight with the realms of eternal glory. And God, I thank you that in your glory, you are doing what man has said is impossible. For with you, all things are possible. Woo. 
I want you to lift up your hands, everybody in this place right now. Because some of you know what God's doing in you right now. And others, you're like, I don't know, but I believe he's touching me. I want you to lift up your hands right now and say, God, I invite your possibilities into my physical body right now. And Lord, I invite your possibilities to move with miracles. Surprise me. I invite the suddenlies of your spirit as you do your work within me right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. name. There's cartilage that's being recreated in your knees. Those that need it ought to get out of your seat and just begin moving your knee. You you might move them like this. You might begin to run a little bit. But you got to get out. You got to move into the miracle. You got to get out of your seat. Move into the miracle. Let the miracle move into you. Yeah, there's a miracle in the hips right now. Some of his hips are getting healed. Who, where they've been out of place, they're coming back into rightful position in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that you are the great physician. You are the chiropractor of all chiropractors. And Lord, we invite you to do your work in us right now, right here. Lord, I thank you for doing it in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you are going to begin to feel it snap into place even as you begin to move. Just move in the glory, move in the glory, move in the glory. Oh, that person that's had the tingling in the bottom of your feet, like sharp pains. Get up and just begin to move your feet. Just begin to move your feet. Oh, there's glory for your toes. There's glory for your heel. Ha, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. I see, this is strange. I see a reversal of where there's been muscle loss I see it reversing in the realm of the spirit, and I see you getting muscle gain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for doing unusual, extraordinary, creative miracles in this place right now. Lord, I thank you that you're moving in your glory. You're moving in your glory. And we're open to receive what you're doing. We're open to receive it. We're open to receive it. Hmm. How many know that you just got a miracle? Listen, I want you to do this. If you know that you just got a miracle, I want you to wave at me. Wherever you are, wave at me. All over this place. From the back to the front, from one side all the way to the other. I guess God is really no respecter of persons, huh? And you might say, well, Brother Joshua, I'm believing for a miracle, but I don't feel it yet. Well, since when do you move by feelings? The Bible, the Bible tells us that we're faith people. We walk by faith, not by sight. Something that one of my mentors, Mama Billy, I call her Mama Billy. Her name's Billy Reagan Deck. But Mama Billy told me, she says, Joshua, we don't move by feelings in the glory. We move by feelings. Do you understand? We don't move by feelings. We move by fillings. Somebody say, I'm being filled tonight. And that's enough to get me to the next filling. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> See, we're going from faith to faith. Speaking of the anointing, the Bible says we go from strength to strength. It says also we go from glory to Someone say, I'm increasing in God. God's working in me. I'm receptive to his works. As I'm learning to open up a little bit more. I begin to experience him a little bit more. With every infilling comes change and transformation. Whether I see it or not. I receive it in the spirit. I receive it in the glory. And I know that I'm growing in God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, you can be seated tonight. And I believe that as you're being seated, you're going to feel a whole lot better than you did earlier. All the pain goes and wonderful glory comes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I want you to open your Bible with me tonight, if you would. We want to hear about the miracles that happen in you. We want to hear about the way that God is moving, even in your physical body tonight. And so if you would, oh, how should we do this? Is there a plan? God's plan. Okay. If you just received a miracle and you know that you just got a miracle, I want you to get out of your I know I just told you to sit down. I want you to get out of your seat if you know that you just got a miracle. And I want you to come over here to the side, just right up here, over to the side. Just move up out of your seat. People are like, what's he going to do? I'm just asking you to move, that's all. Just come right here. Yeah, right where you are right there, sister. That's good. That's great. If you know you got a miracle, get up out of your seat. Come over here. Thank you, Jesus, for all the miracles. Your miracle working power, God. Your miracle working power. The glory. See, no man can take the credit. Nobody's hands were laid on them. You know that? Except for the hands of Jesus. The cloud of his glory, the hand of God. Somebody say the glory is more than enough. The glory is more than enough. God's teaching us about his glory. God's causing us to learn more about his glory. Because the wonderful thing about God's glory is that the glory goes with us everywhere that we go. So when we're at home and we're in need... When we're out in the grocery store and we're in need. When we're at school and we're in need. When we're driving down the road and we're in need. Guess what? The glory is right there. To meet every need. The Bible says in Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply for all of my need according to his riches. In where? Heavenly glory through Christ Jesus. When we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. He becomes our portal into heavenly glory. He is the door. He proclaimed himself in John chapter 10. He proclaimed himself as the door, the portal. He said, nobody comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said it. And so Jesus is the only way into heavenly glory. So we say, Jesus is the only way. Look at this lineup all the way back there. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. We go in through him, right? There's no other entrance. Jesus is the only way. See, there's many doors into the supernatural. Yeah, there are. The New Age has a door. The occult has a door. Every false religion on earth has some sort of door into a supernatural experience. But that kind of supernatural experience is destructive, it's harmful, and actually in the realm of the spirit, it's really illegal. Jesus said it. You go back and you read. I'll let you. This will be your homework, okay? Your revival homework. I know we don't do revival homework, but tonight there's revival homework. John chapter 10, Jesus speaks about it. And he says that there are some that try to climb over the fence and some that try to go under the fence. See, there's a lot of people that try to come up with their own way of access. But Jesus told his disciples this. He said, I am the door. He said it, yeah. You, I like what you just said. Jesus proclaims, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, speaking about him being the door of access, he's the only door into the divine supernatural. The only door into the glory. That, listen, we don't want all the supernatural. We just want the divine supernatural. Right? 
So Jesus speaking about being the door, he goes on and he speaks about one of the, the, assi- the, the major assignment of the enemy. The, the thing that he does, steal, kill, and to destroy. And a lot of people focus on that and they become super consumed by the works of the enemy. And worried about him coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And and beautiful believers will even come to church. And instead of looking for the presence of the Holy Spirit, they're looking for the presence of every evil, ugly spirit. After Jesus spoke about, oh, there's gold begin to come on my hands right now. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can look at your own hands because y'all look like you're in the dark right now. But if possible, you need to begin looking at your hands because there's a there's an impartation of glory that's come Shekinah glory. This is the visible, tangible, seen glory of the Lord. Oh, I like this. Some people taking out their flashlights on their phones and looking. Yeah, do that. Do that. That would that'd be helpful. It's coming up from the pores of my skin, just like diamond dust coming up. Just coming up through the pores of my skin. And when it happens to me, it's always in the atmosphere. It's a, it's a glory cloud that we're coming into. <laughs> and the gold speaks of God's glory. It speaks of his abundance. It speaks of his provision. It speaks of his divine supernatural ability. And this is what I was getting ready to tell you. Is that the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But then after that, Jesus said, I have come to give you life and to give it more abundantly. Jesus has come to give you the abundant life. When we enter into the glory realm, to the person and the presence of Jesus Christ, we enter into the abundance realm. Somebody say, that's the place I'm coming. Oh, anybody connecting tonight? Anybody say, this is a realm that's been prepared for me. Jesus decreed it. Jesus spoke it. And I believe the words of Jesus. And I'm ready to enter all the way into it. Hallelujah. Is anybody getting gold on your, I shouldn't say anybody. Who's getting gold on your hands? Just wave at me real quick all over this place. Look at this. All over this place. People getting the the Shekinah glory coming on you. (laughs) Woo. And you say, well, it doesn't look gold to me. You might be getting the silver. You might get sapphire, you might get the ruby, you might get emerald. There's all different kinds of colors of glory. You you might even begin to get oil appearing in the palms of your hands. That's a supernatural anointing oil of the Holy Spirit. And I think it's wonderful. I invite everything that God desires to do in his glory. We decreed it, miracle signs and wonders. And that's exactly what God is doing. He gets all the glory. Come on, give Jesus glory in this place. Look at this. Look at this. We go in through him. He is our portal into heavenly glory. But then remember Psalm 24. You remember this one, right? How often does the natural parallel what's taking place in the divine supernatural? Okay, so you've got in your city center, you've got a huge, what's called a gateway arch. Oh, well, what a coincidence. No. There's no coincidences in God. And there are times when God will lead people to do things and they don't even know the fullness of what they're doing. They just do it because they feel this compelling force this drive saying I need to do this I need to build this I need to put this here I need to establish that listen before the gateway arch was located downtown God already ordained that St. Louis would be a gateway city he already ordained it I don't think it's a mistake that Missouri is the 24th state in the union Psalm 24 says open up you gates Open wide, you everlasting doors, that the king of glory may come in. 
Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Open up you gates. Open wide you everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? Jesus Christ. He is the King of glory. So David is prophesying, right? David's, and that's a huge prophetic word for so many things and so many, I mean, it's huge. It's a, and God's word is living. It's a living word. It's breathing. So I can't just leave you all standing here. You are, you're stronger now. What happened to you? Come here. What happened to you? Oh, Wow. Oh, I need to hear this in the microphone. You tell everybody what just happened to you. I got a complete makeover from head to toe. Everything he called. The bottom of the feet, the neck, everything. The guts. The guts with the gluten thing, you know. You know, but it has taught me discipline. Well. I no longer weigh 350 pounds. Praise the Lord. God's working in you, and you're going from glory to glory. Yeah, it's wonderful. Just lift up your hands and just take more. Okay, more. There, just take more. Whew. Okay, what happened for you? Just come here and tell me. I need to know what happened. For I like the Holy Spirit makeover. Don't you like that, the overhaul? Everything from top to bottom? And it's only just begun, right? What happened for you, honey? Um... I, I think I threw back when you were, I don't even know what happened, but I went down and, um, <laughs> you, you, you fl flew back. Okay. Lift up your hands. You ready to fly again? <laughs> <laughs> they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagle. They shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. You shall soar in the realm of the spirit, no longer held down by those chains of bondage. The things that have tried to bring you down into oppression and depression, it's broken off of you, and you are soaring in the realm of the spirit. You will do everything that God has told you you can do. Oh, every promise over you is yes, and you say amen. 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 Okay, what happened for you? Come here. If you can kind of bring everybody up, maybe we'll get them in a line, and I can just kind of go a little bit faster here. What happened for you, brother? Um, your hand is on actually the shoulder. I fell uh, last year um, during a bad storm here on the ice, fell on my shoulder, um, had a severe rotator cuff sprain, had to go through physical therapy and everything, and just since then there was just I could feel clicking still in my arm. But tonight, I told my wife, when we, right before you told us to come up, I told her, I said, my arm, I could not do all this. It doesn't click. It doesn't move. It doesn't hurt. And no limitations. Yes. Yes. You got it. You got it. You got it. More, 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 more. And the anointing on your life is increasing even right now. Lord, I thank you for it. Come here. What happened for you? Turn around so everyone can see your beautiful face. What happened for you? Thank you. So Rodney Howard Brown scared the crap out of me as a little child. So, you know, tonight was the first night I think I could actually enter into something like this. And uh, for the longest time, I have wanted to be, what I've dreamed about is, is a relationship with my mother and being free of skin picking. And yes, yes and so tonight wow. is, I think, the first night I've really felt the love of God. That is so amazing. What's your name? Leah, he loves you so much. And he's been working on you all of these years. He's been working on you. And yeah. And you heard the word about the skin, right? Brand new. Brand new. Yeah. Filled with the love of God. Filled with the healing power of God. Brand new. Wow. Wow. Brother, come here. What happened for you? Well, it kind of has everything to do with two things. One is deliverance from an addiction type thing, a, a, my, a thought, yep, thought, thought stuff. And the other thing is my prostate. Yep. 
You didn't call out prostate. But you took it. But I took it. Yeah. So. I love that because you're clearly receiving revelation in the glory. That when the glory is here, you can receive whatever you need. Yeah. So you take it. You take it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. New beginnings. New beginnings. Thank you, Lord. What happened for you? This is so wonderful. I've been very full of hatred and anger for my children who have all kinds of addictions and problems. And I feel free of them. And everything that you mentioned, I took for somebody I knew who had that thing. And I know when I go home, it's going to be real. It is real. It is real. And see, once you get rid of all that hate and all that stuff, the junk that the enemy tried to put in your life to stop you up, and to stifle you. Once, once all that's gone, right? Now you can become a channel for blessings to flow, for his love to flow in you. You're receiving his love, but now it flows out from you. And even to your children right now, there's such great love that's flowing in your heart towards your children. Oh yeah, there's healing that's flowing right now. And the Lord is working a restoration. It's a supernatural thing. And you're going to see it transpire. Even in the next six months, you're going to see the restoration of something that in the, na in the natural, you'd say it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'll come over here. What happened for you? Turn around so everyone can see you. Uh, I think for me, it's just being free to be who I am in Christ. And uh, just feel, you know, seeing myself the way God see, sees me so I can be um, a Christian model to those around me. Um, I, I'm believing for healing in my total, whole body. You, you so you're taking the, the overhaul also? Okay. So just lift up your hands. Just take it all. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Ooh. <laughs> From your nose to your tippy toes. And everything in between. Glory. 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 <laughs> yeah, just drink while you're at it. Just drink. Just drink more. More, more, more. What happened for you? I want to hear about the miracles that God has done for you. Okay. Um. I came up with a wanted to break through from the religious spirit that I lived with so many years. Ooh, the religious spirit's the nastiest devil I ever met. Yes, and also I also had a female problem I've had for years, and I think it's, it definitely has shifted in my body, and knee pains is gone, and I accept everything from head to toe. Yeah. So, okay, so you just said your knee pain's gone. How long did you have knee pain? Um. I've had trouble with my knees off and on, but as I was standing up here, it just got stronger and stronger. It's like, wait a minute. I don't know why I have this pain, and all of a sudden, it's all gone. It's, it's like, gone. praise God. So don't look for it anymore because it's gone. You don't want to go looking for it. It's gone. And those female troubles, they're gone too. Put your hands right on your female parts. I'm, you know, you, you put your hands there. Okay, then I'm going to put my hand on the top of your shoulder right here. And there's healing oil that's flowing right now to every symptom, every situation, every area that has been trouble in the past, no longer harassing you, but you're set free in the realm of the spirit to live and to be and to do all that God has called you to do. Lord, I thank you for it in Jesus mighty name. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. What happened for you? Come here. Tell me what happened for you. I injured my elbow a few months ago. It was constantly hurting, swollen. Chiropractor worked on it, took supplements for it, nothing. So you called out elbows, and I was like, oh, I'll touch my elbow, and it still hurt. And then by the time you called out joints, I checked it, and there's no pain at all. Okay. So there, God's teaching us something through your testimony. Because the first time you checked, there was still pain. The second time you checked, it was gone. Some of you are sitting there saying, I never got nothing. I checked once and it's still there. Check it again. Check it again. In the Bible, they even check seven times. Check and keep on checking. Don't look for pain. Look for your miracle. Look for what God is doing because he's moving in his glory. 
God is working in St. Louis. Where are you from? St. Louis. You're from St. Louis. God is, I'm telling you, God is working in St. Louis. There, there is a strong move of the spirit that's being released from St. Louis. And I really believe that what God is doing through Revival Fest this weekend is, you know, God's just sending his heavenly reinforcements as encouragement to you because so many of you have been praying and laboring and doing this stuff and contending and all of that. But this is just to confirm to you that God is moving. God is moving. So just go and do everything that God has put in your heart to do. No time for delay. Okay? No more delay. No more excuses. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, it's Philippians 4.19 right there. Lift up your hands. Because there's a flow of supernatural provision that's coming to you. Coming into your hands, coming into your life is spirit, soul, and body. It's a physical thing, but it's also a supernatural thing that's happening for you to do everything that God has called you to do. Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you for it. I thank you for confirming that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. What happened for you? So a big one for me was joy, just being able to feel free to enjoy and play in the spirit, play with the Lord. And so I don't laugh very much, and I just allowed the Lord to just come in and just lift every weight and oppressive thoughts, and I just took the faith that it was going to stay gone, that it was a change, it was going to stay gone. And then I took the overhaul for my body, too, so <laughs> I took it all. So you got the healing miracle, and you got a joy miracle, which is so wonderful. The Bible says laughter doeth good like a medicine, the joy of the Lord is your supernatural strength. When he set free the captives, <laughs> their mouths were filled with laughter. So see, all of that is calm. Everything that's taking place today is all confirmation of the workings of God, the moving of the Spirit, what he's doing, how he's working in his wonderful glory as we simply open up. Open up to him, right? We're opening up to him. I remember having a pastor in England one year I went over there to minister uh, just outside of London. And the pastor told me, Brother Joshua, it's so exciting. The church is jam-packed full. We can't fit anybody else in. Uh, the meetings are going to be full all weekend. I said, how many people are coming? He said, about 250 people. It's packed. I said, awesome. That's amazing. So we had wonderful meetings. The next year I went back. He said, Brother Joshua, there's even more people this year than last year. He said, it's absolutely packed. I said, you told me that last year. How can there be more people this year than last year? Because you told me last year we couldn't fit in any more people. He said, well, I had to rearrange some of the chairs and I had to move some of the rows. But he said, when we rearranged all that stuff, we were able to put more people in. See, some of what God's asking us to do is allow him to make the necessary changes in us. To rearrange some things on the inside that have been holding back the move of the spirit. Holding back the move of the glory. And as we allow God to do his work in us, we'll find ourselves being filled in ways that we've never been filled before. We'll find ourselves increasing in ways that we've never increased before. What happened to you tonight? Um, I'm a recording artist, but I lost my voice this year. So I'm believing for full sevenfold with interest restoration on my voice um and i've also been dealing with this like nasty congestion in my left ear that's been affecting my hearing which is not fun for singing so i'm believing for that god did some stomach stuff like he did it i felt it yeah okay now i want to say one thing okay i love that you're believing for stuff and we have to believe for stuff until we get to the place where it is, then we don't have to believe it anymore, believe for it. We just receive it, okay? And, and so what I want you to do right now is I want you to say, I receive the full miracle, yep, for my vocal cords. I receive the miracle for my ear. And guess what? You're receiving it now. Whew, you don't have to believe for it anymore. You've got it. You're receiving it. You're receiving it right now. The miracle comes right now.
the manifestation comes right now. You're in the glory realm. This is the now realm of God. This is the realm where the miracles are present. This is the realm where change begins to occur. This is the realm where transformation comes with ease. This is the realm where creative miracles flow, oh yes, into your physical body. A brand new vocal cord, a brand new hearing ear, brand new, 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 Woo. new, 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 new. What kind of songs do you like to sing? Oh, Jesus love song. Okay, sing a Jesus love song. Too wonderful to me. Too wonderful to me, Lord, you're wonderful to me. <laughs> I know I put you on the spot to sing, but that was a beautiful song, and God is working through you, and I pray that as you begin to worship him and worship him not just in the natural, but worship him in spirit and worship him in truth, that God would use your songs to lead others into the divine presence of almighty God, that the glory would increase in your life and around your life, that you would be a psalmist for the Lord that would release the new songs of the spirit every place that you go. And you're an atmosphere shifter, an atmosphere fear changer oh yeah the atmosphere shifts in jesus mighty name lord i thank you that she carries that thank you lord hallelujah what's your name uh your full name megan smith okay we need to look for you on itunes and tree frog and all these kinds of places okay megan smith your your singing name is tree frog oh that's interesting okay awesome praise god well that's it's very different um, but you know, so much about the spirit is so different. The, the Bible calls us cedars of Lebanon. So maybe you're like a tree frog on the cedars of Lebanon or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, God bless you. Okay. Praise God. Okay. What happened for you? All evening, I've just been praying for bitterness and forgiveness and let going of that and just kind of getting closer to God. And right before I went back, I just seen a vision of God and him saying, I got you. And then, wow. yeah. I just, just one vision of God changes everything. Yeah, and tonight's your night of change. It's so beautiful. The glory increases on you. You got a glow, a glory glow on your face. You're going to carry the Shekinah. Yeah. And when people see you, they're going to see Jesus in you. And it's going to open up doors for testimony. Yeah. It's what you prayed for? Yeah. But you've been in the presence of Jesus. And that happens. Yeah. One vision changes everything. It's beautiful. Awesome. God bless you. Okay. Uh, one more, and then I want all of y'all there. I love you, but I want you to write down your testimony. Can we get them papers or pens or something? Don't leave until he, he, he gets you. Pastor Terry's going to hook you up with something. What happened for you tonight? Um, when you prayed for intestines, I've had irritable bowel syndrome for a long time, and I received that healing. It was so painful at time that I could hardly stand it. But I received that healing tonight. And um, when you said sinuses, I've also had problems with that. I claimed that, and I received that, and scar tissue on the lung. Oh, you hit all three of those things. And you received your miracle in all three realms. Okay. Put your hands up. What's your name? Sandy. Oh, God. Anoint Sandy afresh and anew. Let the oil of your presence flow over her and flow out through her life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want everybody in this place, I want you to lift up your hands. The Bible says that Jesus is our portal into heavenly glory. But then the word shares, David saying it, I shared this with you, Psalm 24. Open up you gates. Now, when David was singing this, he wasn't singing to the gates in the third heaven realm. He was actually speaking to the people of God prophetically. He was singing to the people of God and was saying, people of God, you open up because you are gates. You are gates. And this is the revelation that Jesus is our portal into heavenly glory, but then we are his portals 
for heavenly glory to flow into the earth. We go in through him, but then he comes out through us. So right now, I want you to lift up your hands into the glory. And I want you to just touch, the, just touch Jesus. Just touch the glory. Touch that realm once again tonight. Whatever you need, your miracle is available in the glory. Whatever area where there's been lack in your life, he wants to be the God of provision in that area in your life. Wherever you have suffered, he wants to bring his comfort. Wherever you have felt pain, he wants to release his healing and his peace. Wherever you have struggled, he wants to release his ease and his rest right now. Lord, I thank you for the glory impartation that's being released into the lives of your people tonight. As we begin to understand that we are portals for your heavenly glory to flow everywhere. That you've sent us everywhere that you choose to lead us. Lord, every circumstance that we face, that we would begin to recognize that you want to be Lord in the middle of it. You want to be glorified in the middle of it. Lord, thank you for changing our heart attitude about a few things. Lord, thank you for changing our disposition about a few things. God, I thank you for encouraging us by your spirit and in your word. As we begin to realize that we truly are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We are overcomers because of what you have done for us in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, I receive, I receive.